And 24 hours later, he would count the dead cells in their aorta to see which foods were the most toxic cholesterol to the artery. There's an additional problem with the cholesterol in our diet versus what our own livers make. By the way, sometimes you'll hear this confusing gobbledygook where people will say, but your body needs cholesterol. It's going to be a problem being on a plant-based diet. Well, in a way they're right. Our body needs cholesterol, but we don't need any in our diet. Why is that? Because our livers make plenty. <laughs> and we can actually train our livers to make more by what we're eating, which is not a good thing. We don't want to make more than we need. But the problem with cholesterol in the diet, Dr. Taylor showed in particular, was that the oxidized cholesterol is more damaging. And this was found out by studying a group of mothers in Louisiana. Actually, I'll tell you about that study next. First, I'll tell you about how Taylor uh, discovered this. It was actually by having medical students. This is why we always like to have students with us. And so uh, they looked up in the medical literature and they had found that no one had ever fed pure cholesterol to rabbits and monkeys. And so they thought, aha, nobody's done this. Let's try it and let's see what happens. So they got it approved, but then they had to go to the cholesterol researcher because they didn't know how to find pure cholesterol. And he said, yeah, I've got a bunch of it. It's over there in that bucket. It's been there a long time, but it's pure cholesterol. Go ahead and use it. So they fed pure cholesterol to rabbits and monkeys. And within a few weeks, they all began to have heart attacks and strokes. <clears throat> and they were done with their study. They, they showed the data. They were out of there. They had completed it. But Dr. Taylor said, cholesterol's bad, but it shouldn't have been that bad just a few weeks, these poor rabbits and monkeys. And then he thought about what he had given them. It had been in that bucket for a while, but the lid had also been off and it had been exposed to the air. So he thought, let's give pure cholesterol to rabbits and monkeys and see what happens. If it's pure cholesterol, it's a clear waxy substance. It's not um, colored. It doesn't have that um, dark color to it. And so they fed pure cholesterol, and none of those monkeys and rabbits developed any atherosclerosis, clean vessels. So that's when he realized, OK, the problem is oxidized cholesterol. And so he realized people don't just eat cholesterol, whether it's non-oxidized or not. They're eating food. And so he gave these monkeys this one food, and 24 hours later, he would count the dead cells in their aorta to see which foods were the most toxic cholesterol to the arteries. He found out the most harmful cholesterol to arteries are the cholesterol that's found in what? Custards. What are custards? Milk, eggs, and what else? Sugar. When we mix cholesterol up in a sugar environment, we're going to heavily oxidize it. And what's the most commonly consumed custard in America? Good old-fashioned ice cream. And this is why it's far better to take frozen bananas and put them through a champion juicer. There's no <laughs> cholesterol there. You don't have to worry about oxidizing it. You can do tofruity.